But he did, and he laughs. I think he laughs. West Ham are closing in on two new signings after late night discussions with Kostic take place. Roll the bad boy titles on today's show. Now, hello and welcome back to the West Ham Network. I am Anton. If you're new around here, please hit that cheeky subscribe button. Of course, hit the thumbs up and please leave your comments. There is lots of comments going mental in the chat. I mean, I literally just walked back through the door and I'm seeing about a million comments coming through as we speak. So we will engage with the chat as well. And I hope you are all staying safe and well as per usual. Now, I just want to clarify some things that I'm seeing on the time feed just now. Be very careful what you believe and where the news is coming from. Um, I, you know, I think we become quite obsessed. Of course, I understand that we run a YouTube channel as well and we've got to bring you the news as we do. However, just be careful where you get the news from because I know someone has just put in there that they think that Skamaka has failed his, um, his medical. However, I don't believe it for a second, if I'm being brutally honest. I don't think it would have been this level um, and this far ahead. Now, I know things can happen at the last minute. All you need to do is watch um, things that are on the on the telly when it comes to the the, the, the Sunderland programme, the Leeds programme, um, the, the, you know, all or nothings. That when you see players do medicals, that things can happen at the last minute and you never, ever um, believe anything until you see it on the dotted line. And when you see the West Ham... Um, page you know official page holding up uh, or, or putting a picture up of Skamaka wearing the top and it is exciting times because he does um look like um a, a top-notch player so I don't want people you know you know we, we don't know nobody really actually knows but the, the, the thing we do know is that Skamaka is in London because we've seen the images of him arriving on the plane we've seen him signing West Ham merchandise from the fan base. Now, that can go Pete Tong. We all know that can go Pete Tong, but hopefully it doesn't, um, and we get the deal over the line as soon as possible, which would be lovely to see as well. Now, West Ham boss David Moyes is pushing hard to sign wing-back Philip Kostic from Eintracht Frankfurt as we are looking to finalise the capture of Skamaka today, hopefully today, and hopefully it's going to get announced. Today. One thing that's annoying, and, and I will put this out to you in the chat, is why is it that West Ham takes so long to get these deals done? Maybe other clubs are doing the deals and it does take this length, but when they announce them, it seems like it comes out of the blue. But when it comes to West Ham, it just seems to take ages and ages and ages. And, and sometimes, I've had this joke with Russ as well, when you think that sometimes that, you know, maybe West Ham don't work at weekends. and <laughs> We just take the weekend off, even though the deal was agreed back on Friday. And then we come back and we don't, you know what, we'll schedule it for Monday. Let's just fly in and get you in on Monday or Tuesday, etc. So it does make for interesting uh for interesting reading as well. So listen, what I'll do is I'll jump through the chat, see who's in the house, and then I'll go through the, the rest of the show today. But there's so many of you, and it's lovely to see, and I hope you're all keeping safe and well as usual. Good morning, everyone. Good morning to you, Mustard Man Gaming. Happy Amaret. Love it to see you too. Hope you're keeping well. It's me. It's me. It's the Antonio. I, I was just going to do something that reminded me of. You all know who. Um, it's still a tough one to take, tough pill to swallow. Love you, amazing West Ham fans, best fans in the world. Come on, you irons. Maybe you'll get a combo today. Maybe you'll get a combo in the future. Just keep your eyes 
on the channel as well. Happy Amaret. I'm absolutely buzzing for Skamaka to show what he's got in Claret and Blue. I really am excited about him. Listen, I know he is coming from a league that most of us don't watch, but after scouting him from online, albeit from online, he really does look like he could fit the bill for West Ham as well. Uh, but I have learned over the years to, to, to be mindful and, and careful of what we expect is going to take a bit of time to settle in. Hopefully you can hit the ground running. It'd be great if you could hit the ground running. But you've got to trust in Moyes' process behind how he scouts a player and looks into a player. And because he's taken so long to bring a replacement in for Sebastian Haller, then surely to God he has done his due diligence and his homework and he's found the man that we need to bring it in as well. Peter, quadruple X, the 16-year-old, is here bringing you some content today. Hope you are well. Um... Maybe these guys are sweet too. Morning, all West Ham family from Fred. Uh, is Schemata Medical done yet? We're just waiting. And hopefully it'll get announced today. So you may see me coming back a bit earlier, later, you name it, when we're announcing the actual deal has been done. Um, David thought you were going to be first here today. So did I, but obviously I wasn't as well. Uh, all we need now is a left back, another striker, another midfielder, loan of a centre back and one or two of the youngsters to be around the first team and a couple of outgoings, then that should be okay. I'll talk about what the first 11 could look like as well if we were to bring in another player as well. I think it'll be today or tomorrow. Happy we seem to do two stage medicals these days from David. Hugh is in the house. Good to see you. Hope you're well. Good morning, Hammers. Depends on how many times they make him call. <laughs> Uh, they're killing me with these Insta posts. They keep making me think it's uh, Skamaka every time. Absolutely, they do. And I think that's maybe what they're trying to do is lead up to that, you know, give us that um, feeling of the, the players coming in. And, and, and so here's a player, here's a player, here's a player, and then bang, here's the player that we're all waiting for as well. But let me move on to the show. I'll come back into the chat in a second. Now, Skamaka, 23 years old, is going to undergo his medical and will hopefully sign his contract with West Ham today. Um, and he's also, Moyes is pushing to bring in a new left wing back, um, Kostic, who is 29, who seems to be his next target. Now, talks have stalled as the German club don't want to lose the Serbian international, who has got a very good scoring and creating record from the wing back berth. But Moyes apparently has held talks with Kostic on Monday, uh, Monday in an attempt to persuade him to make the move to the Premier League. As he's entered his final year at Frankfurt, and Frankfurt obviously winning the Europa League have now qualified for the Champions League, it's going to be an uphill task that Moyes faces. But if there's a man who's going to get the man to convince him to come over, it's going to be David Moyes. Why would he leave Frankfurt and Champions League football to come to the Premier League and West Ham? Only because he believes in what David Moyes is trying to build at this club. So we have to move back to Skamaka for a second because fair play to Antonio he has held West Ham together during quite possibly our most successful two seasons in our recent history. And, and, and a lot of that has to go down to what Antonio has done. Many fans will turn around and potentially say that what happens if we'd have had a signature or a player come in like Skamaka? What would that have done for West Ham? Would we have pro progressed forward? Um, or would we have been in the same situation we're in just now? I don't know, but all I do know is that for two seasons in a row, we've been very successful, and the Jamaican international, Mr. Mickey Antonio, has held it together for West Ham up top. Um, and so, so fair play, and it's going to be interesting to see when Skamaka comes in, where these players fit in. Again, I'll jump into that when we discuss the starting eleven in a second. Now, bringing in Kostic is obviously potentially a significant upgrade on some of our current left-sided um, options. Now, a lot of people dig out Aaron Creswell. I get it. I get it to a certain extent, but he's also been a very, very solid option for West Ham for many years and over the last couple of years has predominantly found his old form and he has come back into his old self. There are elements of his game that have dwindled away slightly, but we have to bring in players that are going to challenge for that starting 11 berth, and that's exactly what David Moy said. I am going to only but bring in players that are going to challenge for that starting 11. I'm not going to bring in squad players just for the sake of it. Kostic absolutely fits that bill 100%, and should Moyes get the double deal done of Skamaka and Kostic, who share the same agent, then that is significantly, significantly going to bolster our squad, both in terms of quality and in depth. And if we can get this double, you know, acquisition completed, 
Um, there are several ways West Ham could line up for the new season. So I'm going to jump through how I think we could line up. There are going to be some changes. All bear with me because it could be down to personal opinion as well in terms of the goalkeeper, in terms of who comes in, else if we bring in players like Onana, etc. But temporarily, I'm going to look at this. So the first option, um, if both signings were added, let me bring myself over here, would be um, Skamaka leading the line, obviously. up to Sorry, that's not the one I wanted to do. This is the one I think I wanted to do. Yes, this is the one. Is it the one I wanted to do? <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, let me have a look here. Yeah, it is. So um, with Skamaka leading the line up front um, and Kostic playing on the left side of the attacking trio, um, that isn't the one. I do apologise. This is the one here. Um, so Skamaka leading the line with uh, Kostic playing on the left side with the attacking trio sat behind the international forward. Kostic has succeeded very well in Germany from playing as a left wing back and has played much of his career as a left midfielder winger. And in this system, Kostic would play a familiar role in the left wing. Um, and that would also push players like, uh, obviously, Bowen would be out in the right wing, Lanzini through in the middle as the number 10. And I think he potentially does have an option to perform for West Ham um, this season as well. And he will play a big part for us as well. Of course, we'll have Declan Rice and Suchek sitting there protecting. And then this would then therefore allow Creswell to play in the kind of four at the back alongside probably Dawson or Ogbonna, depends who comes in because obviously Aguerd is injured. Again, it's down to your personal choice if you choose Sofal or Ben Johnson or if you choose Ariola or Fabianski. But one thing's for sure is, you know, Zuma, Declan Rice, Tommy Suchek, Jared Bowen, and if we do bring in Skamaka, they're the kind of first names on the sheet that you can potentially see as well. Now, this means that Kostic gets further forward and allows him to play in that kind of uh, left wing role, like left wing back role. Another thing you could do is Kostic can play as a left back, so he could play in the left back, and that would allow us to bring Pablo Fornals in, who would then play with Lanzini or Bowen in that role and support in that role as well so it does give us we've got options i mean i've got other options here let me just bring the team into you this i think i've brought that one I've done that one already haven't i so this is us playing with a three at the back if our gwed was fit then look at the options we've got here if our gwed is fit you could play with three at the back dawson could go into the middle there ogbonna could go into the middle there zuma and then you've got the four players there the wing backs sufal and kostic then you've got fornals bowen and Skamaka, but again, you can chop and change some of those players as well. And like this, for example, we could put Antonio out on the left hand side, which a lot of people are calling for. Now, I must admit, when I look at this particular team, this looks frightening. Now, you could change some of those players in this team, but that does, for me personally, look a bit frightening. You've got Antonio on the left wing, which a lot of people are calling for, would cause them problems all day long. Skamaka drops deep, clicks the ball does a lot of work for his teammate, the creativity of Lanzini, Bowen cutting in from the right-hand side, switching positions with Antonio if need be, the two guys in the middle of the park protecting anything that comes at us, and then you've got Kostic who gets forward but also gets back and can offer us an option there. If he does go forward, you've got Deckers or Suchek sitting back to collect that ball, Zuma as well, you know, and, and Sofal, and that's that, we're missing so many bloody players. We're missing Ben Johnsons of the world. We're not even talking about Flynn Downs. We're not even talking about Fornals here, as we said. We've not even mentioned Ben Rama. We've not even mentioned Vlasic. Now you can start to see the strength and depth. It might mean that currently we don't have 20 first-team players, but the potential 15 or 16 first-team players we've got really is a challenge, really is going to be a massive challenge for West Ham. And is this the man that's going to lead the line for us moving forward? Like I said, we're waiting any minute, hopefully, for the deal to be announced. It is absolutely exciting times for us to sign a striker. So I'm going to jump through the comments and see what everyone else is saying as well. Um, and also what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the opportunity to come on and join us in the chat. So I'm going to put the link in the chat um, and you can come in and give us your thoughts about Skamaka. So let me bring this over here. And then we'll get started on having a little chin wag with all of you. So if you want to come on, I've just put the link in the chat. You're more than welcome to come and have a chat with uh, myself and we can discuss the potential for Skamaka coming in and Kostic 
as well. But I'm just trying to jump up here and see where everyone is. So many comments, and it's lovely. It is lovely. Uh, Kostic is apparently in London for talks, which would be good for West Ham. A great signing if we can bring him in. And what a great coup as well, considering he's got potential for champion. or sorry, has Champions League football confirmed for next season. And I do agree with you there, Peter. I believe nothing until it happens, 100%. Uh, Matt is saying Twitter's full of trolls. Um, how only seem to be happy when deals collapse. Um, Skamaka didn't ri- arrive alone. Um, hi, everyone from Cross Hammer. Uh, Costits eating jelly deals in Stratford right now. <laughs> Canary Wharf. At Canary Wharf, Peter, as well. Rob's projector, welcome on you, Irons. We need these players. We absolutely do. That injury was three years ago. Hi, Anton. Hi, Gaza. Some fans also seem to get a kick from players fearing medicals, picking up injuries the moment they sign. Weird. And the thing is, it's such an obsession. Um, you know, following the players and and chasing them down and seeing them at the airport and 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 and, and all that sort of stuff. And I think sometimes, yeah, I do agree with you, uh, Greeno. There is a willingness for players to fail, even at clubs that you love, even at West Ham fans. And I'm not, you know, telling yous in this in this chat, but some people in the chat might be thinking, well, do you know what? I hope it does, so I can have a go at the board. Might be, might not be. We never know. Toby Sampson's in the house. Oh, yeah, it's good to see you, my friend. Really, really good to see you as well. Look who's back live. I am. I am as well. Medical takes hours usually, and it will still be uh, underdoing. Absolutely. It would be two great signings. It really would be, and it would be listening to David Moyes and what he's wanting to do. 29-year-old doesn't meet the criteria in terms of what he says about bringing in that mould of young players, but he is still young, and he's still got several years of good football in him. Kostic, this is. Um, but it doesn't mean you have to sign all young players. You have to bring in experience and what an experienced player we would be bringing in. Absolutely. And he did have a massive smile on his face, Matt Skamaka. Absolutely. Um, who told you about is being? I don't know what that means here. Uh, Luke says, well, if he arrives injured, I guess it saves time from getting injured as soon as he plays for us. <laughs> Let's hope that doesn't happen. There was also another player on the plane, and I wonder who that was. Raspadori. <laughs> I'm joking. Fans, fish tank is looking so good. It is, isn't it, mate? It is actually reminding me. I might need to give it a, if I give it a clean now, it saves me for the future moving forward. Jimmy Jones is in the house. Afternoon all. Um, I don't know. Jesus took ages to be unveiled at Arsenal. He's uh, sorry, not just West Ham and transfer. No, I get it. I get it, but we do have a long line history of taking long times to get these deals done. Definitely. Um, I'm reading. Uh, Kostic wants to see his final year out at Frankfurt. Uh, could he be another Lingard? I don't know. It's, Paul, the thing we have to understand here is that he has got Champions League football with Frankfurt. He's just won the Europa League with Frankfurt and he's got an opportunity to play Champions League football. So if, if boys can convince him to leave that and come to us, then he's obviously saying the right stuff about the future of what the club can offer to him as well. Matt is saying deals usually take ages, but we're just so focused on our players, we don't notice it. Ericsson took about three weeks to finally get done in my United and he was a freebie. I, I, listen, it feels like that most of the time when it comes to West Ham players. Most of the time. I get that Ericsson took a while. I get that other players did take a while, but it just feels like that. But you're right, Matt. You're right. I'm just concentrating on uh, on this as well. Uh, Yo Spinneret, I never had any doubts we'd have a good window, good man. Ours takes ages because we're looking into them from when one window closes to the next, whereas we do not look at any of the club sagas in the same way. Absolutely, Chris. Yeah, I do agree with you. Yes, we are, and hopefully we have got the massive double deal coming to West Ham. That would be huge. Ryan is saying, hello, everyone. Exciting times ahead. Absolutely. Glad to hear it, mate. Schizo Base, what's happening, my friend? Are you keeping well? Thank you for joining me again. Are we not after, is it Kamada, the Japanese midfielder? I really do like the looks of him, if I'm being brutally honest. I think he would be a quality, creative player that can add massive value to West Ham. But I don't doubt for a second we're in the market. If we do get Skamak over the line, if we do get Kostic over the line, I don't doubt for a second we're going to push to get other players over the line. Players like Kamada would really offer us. But then you've got Dwight McNeil's in the world and the fan base is split when it comes to this as well. Kenny's in the house. Uh, hope you're well, mate. Hi, Anton. I'm looking forward to these signings. And I think Augie will nurture Skamaka as we have two Italian beasts, absolutely. And you could find Augie starting in the Premier League, you know, with the news about Aguerd as well. That could actually happen. Uh, not watched Italian football since it was on Channel 4. Remember that? Remember the intro? Can, can you? I'm going to get you now, if you're thinking about it, can you do the intro music for the um, uh, Itali- Italia... Uh, Football Italia on Channel 4. Evening, gents. Keep up the good work informing us here in Australia. Thank you very much, Alan. Good to see you. 
my friend, uh, Jill said something that hit home yesterday at the time. He said the strike of COVID wasn't even known. That is so bloody true. Uh, Matt says, three years ago, Hammeret, I thought it was Haller, but it was actually a jetty a month later. This one's going to be massive from Mikey. Good to see you, my friend, as well. Over a thousand days since we last signed a striker. Think about that. Over a thousand days as well. Kamada from David. Think we'd be better, cheaper, younger option than Zelensky. Would like us to go after the catch role of Leeds. We're after because he could look very successful. What's interesting about the Zelensky link is that he's strongly linked to clubs in Italy. And if you read up on the stories about it, it looks like he potentially favours a move to Italy or favours to, to stay in Italy. So I don't know about this deal. This could be one of those ones. I'm I'm guessing here and could be completely wrong that the Zelensky deal is a bit of a smoke and mirrors thing. It could be created from somewhere else. It could be one of the players on the list, but we're looking at getting another deal done. I don't know what the Zelensky deal is looking like, but I feel like we probably won't get Zelensky and we'll be looking at someone else that will add real value to the team. But if we do, albeit I trust what Moyes is saying anyway. They're teasing Lanzini post with the caption, strike a pose was definitely intentional. I do agree with you, Matt, as well. Scott, good to see you, my friend. Hope you're well. I still feel we need another forward after Skamaka. Gaza and everyone in the chat, I'm going to ask you this right now. We bring Skamaka in. We bring Skamaka in. Do we bring Broja in, or is the Broja deal dead? Because I don't think the Broja deal is dead. I really don't. Just a guess, but I don't think it is. Kamada would be great. Happy birthday to everyone in the chat. We've nearly signed someone. <laughs> it does feel like a birthday present, doesn't it? Uh, Gaza can still see the Broja happening, to be honest. I, David, I completely agree with you. Absolutely. Uh, Collateral wants to join AC Milan, but they're refusing to pay the 35 million club once. He'd be amazing for us as well. Antonio will step it up now, I'm sure of it. If you think back to the interview that Antonio had several months ago where he's saying we need strength and depth, especially in the position I'm in, he wants the challenge. He wants to look over his shoulder and see a player coming up. And he won't. He's carried West Ham for such a long time. And we have to put so much respect on Mickey Antonio's head because he has done so much for West Ham. Absolutely. Um, I think Broja's gone now. I can see Bertrand Diaz coming in cheaper option to allow that money to be used elsewhere. Matt, I don't agree with you, mate. I don't think we're going to sign Bertrand Diaz. I think if we want to sign Bertrand Diaz for 15 million quid that apparently Blackburn are looking for, we would have got that deal done ASAP. But we don't. I don't think we want him. I don't think Moyes is massively convinced in him. And I agree with this. According to Athletic, we're still pushing Chelsea for Broja. Broja is a challenger for first team. In my opinion, Diaz isn't. Diaz is accepting that he may sit on the bench and offer us an option. I could be wrong, but I think that is the option uh, that we've got. I still think we need another centre-forward and then Antonio can solve the left-wing issue. What that does, Toby, is that offers West Ham so many options, so much choice and ability to share the workload because if we do get through the playoffs, which next week we'll find out who our player team is going to be in the Europa League Conference playoffs, then it, 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 it's, it's choice after choice after choice. Could you imagine, Toby, Skamaka, could you imagine Broja? Could you imagine Antonio, Fornals, Bowen, Lanzini, Ben Rama, Vlasic? Options, options, options. I've probably missed a couple of players because there's so much creativity in that team there. And it's and it's really exciting to see. Um, he does have the same agent as Kamaka Gaza Kostic does. Um, I can see, I can see Broja. I'm just putting it out there. I can see the Broja thing happening. I can't wait uh, for Skamaka pocketing, <laughs> pocketing Martinez. We are bringing in some proper talent to push for Europe again. Such a grand time to be a hammer, a hammerette. Absolutely happy. And I think the thing is we have to be patient as fans because it's been such a long time since we brought in quite a few recruits. But I think what Moyes has done is got West Ham to a level and realised that we need to move to that next level. We need to bring in these recruits. But he's kept the main core of the team. Losing Mark Noble was massive, but Declan Rice seems to have filled that gap completely. He is the, one of the most humble young guys I have seen. Now he's the captain of West Ham and he plays a massive part in West Ham season this season, as do, as do many of the players that have been in and around the team for so long as well. Cost it seems like he is a replacement for King Arthur, can play left wing back, left midfield and left winger. Uh, scumbag has gone to Forest. very happy. I mean, best thing happened, we can move on. Paul, do you know what? I was talking to my dad about this last night and I was saying that I think there was a part of me that was like so disappointed that he chose Forrest 
but the massive part of me is so glad that it's gone, it's over, and that money can be spent elsewhere. And maybe it is when you listen to a lot of the pundits at West Ham dodging a bullet. Maybe it is. Um, the time was right for him to sign for us after the loan deal. I'm not trying to go back on my word because I was annoyed that he didn't choose West Ham. But I think if he wanted to come to West Ham, he would have done it a lot earlier as well. Toby says, Crazy will be a squad player going forward. I think less pace than Jorginho now. I can see that. However, we'll see. We'll see. Here's my hammer comment. If only we had kept Alessi to cover Adquired injured, uh, injury. I, I, I do agree with you. I have, I've had to move on from the Alessi thing because I do think he was one of the players that could have filled in if needed, but he had his opportunity last year and he was never going to get it, especially when we had so many injuries um, as well. Creswell should have been replaced two years ago. Jimmy, I get it, but equally though, he's been massively important to West Ham over the last two years for West Ham to progress. I think he's... He, he's um, He's been he's been a fantastic servant for West Ham, absolutely. Um, apparently, there was another with Skamaka. Who? We'll see. We'll see. Every opinion is valid. It absolutely is. Uh, this is exciting and all, Anton. But can we get another Lingard video ready? <laughs> Do you want me to title it? Lingard's gone. <laughs> that was ridiculous, wasn't it? Paul is saying Bros are not coming to West Ham. Chelsea have no cover. Um, I know. I know. Bros are who. Uh, we've got Skamaka. I know, but I just don't think that one's done. Happy, I really don't. David is saying Vlasic instead of Lanzini in that lineup, shown more in pre season. Um, yeah, possibly. But I David, I think it shows you that we've got options as well. And I, I really do think Lanzini steps up to the mark when he plays around better players. I really do. If you think about Lanzini, when we had Payet in the team, he was phenomenal. And last season, when he came into the team when no one expected it, he was phenomenal. Uh, in that lineup, who is the weakest link? Well, let me show you which one. I, I don't know which one I'm going to put up, but let me just put that there. I mean, there's so many different options, Scott. So many different options. I like this. If you chopped and changed a few players, if you needed to, some people might not want Lanzini. Some people people might not want Ariola. You could have Zuma and Dawson or Zuma and Oggy. If, well, Aguero's not going to be fit for the start of the season, but you could obviously put him into that team when he is fit, Kostic, if he is signed by West Ham, is massive, massive for us progressing forward as well. You've got Sufal at the right back position. You could put Ben Johnson there. I, I will say from the Rangers game, I thought Sufal coming on the park was much better for West Ham getting forward. However, one of our guys watched the Luton game and felt like Sufal had not such a great game in that position as well. Let me just find out where this comment has gone. Uh, Martin is saying his versatility is a great asset since we can shift formations depending on the opposition. Absolutely. Michael is saying Antonio is finished. He's more interested in practicing his goal celebrations and scoring actual goals. However, Michael, I think he's not finished. I think he offers West Ham something down the left-hand side massively. And do you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if he plays a big, big part for West Ham this season again. Uh, we can't play Creswell. He's too slow. Um, I'm just buzzing. It's unreal. I, I, happy I am the same. I just want to see the player holding the top up in front of him as well. Absolutely. Um, Al, Mirian, Lanzini and Creswell need to step down. Both too weak uh, and will cost us big time. Sorry. Al, I don't agree with you on Lanzini, to be honest. Um, I really don't. Uh, get Zelensky in that cam roll, not Lanzini. Creswell is the weakest link in that lineup. Uh, Creswell will get targeted in every game from Fortune's always hiding 94. Uh, Lanzini ha still has plenty to offer. Um, does Kostic have pace or dribbling skill? He has both. He really does. Do you not remember the game? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't want to offend you in any way, but taking yourself back to the game against Frankfurt, he really did. He, him, him, Kamada, and the... I can't remember the other boy's name. Um, really did cause us problems in both the, the legs. They were really the kind of two to three standout players. I can't remember the third player. Um, that played for Frankfurt causes a bit of bother. Get Creswell out. He's a weak link and we've stifled Kostic. Kostic's 100% not a left back, but can play. I know you've said it before, but he can do. Um, Benny, oh my God, Skamaka rejected PSG Juventus. Arsenal, Man United and signed for West Ham. UEFA Champions League is for us. Could you imagine? Could you imagine? Uh, Kostic isn't a left back, especially if Sufal push forward. We get counted so easy. Sharky, hi Anton and everybody in the chat. The three at the back would need us to get another centre back. Well, apparently, if you listen to the Athletic and Rashin Thomas, he is saying that we are scouting someone in Italy. So who is that? Milinkovic. We've been linked to Milinkovic for such a long time, and um, he really does look like another fantastic player. Um, and apparently, Fiorentina would accept anything around fifteen to twenty million quid. But our West Ham going to spend that amount of money on a centre back? I'll be honest with you. If Milinkovic was fit. If Milenkovic is fit and he's a long-term prospect for West Ham, 
our future center halves could be Zuma, Milenkovic, Aguerd, and or Diop and Dawson, because obviously Augie's last season, probably at West Ham as well. That could be an option. Uh, Kostic um, has to play wide left, no more square pegs around holes. I uh, Damien says, Good afternoon, all oh, Anton. How are you, mate? West Ham is buzzing, absolutely, it is. What time did the medical start? I'm not too sure. Um, it's a shame about Lingard, but we'll just be as good without him. I do agree with you. Uh, do you think Skamaka will play against RC Lens? I don't know, mate. You might see him get a little run out as well, um, but I think they'll probably want to see him get some form of game time. Um, Skamaka over Mickey Mouse. Watch where are any day of the week. <laughs> Listen, I've put the link in. If anyone wants to join me, at, at, we'll be coming to an end in about 10 minutes' time, so if you want to come on for five minutes and have a chat with me, you can. There is the link in the chat. I'll put it in the chat for you again just now. You're more than welcome to come on. I've got so many more comments to go through, so you're more than welcome to come on. The link is in the chat just now as well. Um, I yeah, I've seen. I think you need to think about where Diop is. He's he's gone over to France. I think a lot of people thought he was in America, but he wasn't. He tagged himself in a place that was named after somewhere in America. But when you look at the map where he's tagged himself in, he is in France. So it looked he's probably just. Um, not happy. But however, then you start to see contradicting stuff about um, when he's wearing the West Ham top and him and Zuma are having a laugh. But um, he was one of the first players at the Rangers game. Him and Masawaku didn't look too happy when they came onto the bus. It didn't really look up. The fans went and sat on the bus and sat at the back and just stayed quiet. Um, afternoon, Anton. How are you, mate? West Ham is buzzing. Um, let Diop go if we get a replacement. What we have to realise is we need a replacement probably before we let him go, especially now that... Um, uh, that he's gone. I heard that Skamaka was seen at Maka's uh, earlier in this morning. Could you imagine? Could you imagine he was gone in there to get his his uh, egg McMuffin? To be fair, Frankfurt will most likely be out of the first round of the Champions League. Well, you never know. You never know. Oh, the puns I could write. Maybe we need to get you on board to write the puns for us, Happy. Um, and I'm I, honestly, myself and Russ have been working on getting the website up and running for you guys. I can't wait to show you what we're going to do with the website. It's going to be really, really interesting and exciting times. Um, hopefully, we'll get that launched within the next four weeks as well, but it's going to be cool and fun, so hopefully you'll get a bit of enjoyment out of that. Uh, do you think we're going to get top four? I don't know, mate. I want to just give us maybe the first month or two in the Premier League to see how these players gel with each other, but I think that I trust what Moyes is trying to build at West Ham. And he needs to challenge for top six again. I, I want us to challenge for the top four. It's going to be tough, but top six is a priority for West Ham. Minimum, minimum top six. And that shows that we can challenge, take it to the, the top teams is there. Age is just a number. Can play for many more years if you look after your body. Absolutely. Um, the potential crosses from Cross Kostic to Samaka, Skamaka is crazy. Um, you're sure, in the, you're sure uh, the two in the car with Skamaka and his dad, Mike, um, George, with this squad and a couple more signings, loans for sure. I think we could be top four. Absolutely. Afternoon, all hammers. Good to see you. Uh, not sure who the other player was on the plane. Maybe it was just a family friend. Uh, family. Top four is a real challenge, but we'll be in the mix for top six. Certainly, fancies us over United at the moment. Oh, God, there's so many. I'm so like 25 minutes, 30 minutes behind in the comments. Um, I'm going to try and keep jump, jumping through them. They aren't all called dithering days for nothing. That's what delays the transfers. Absolutely, Matt. Uh, to be honest, I'm actually pleased that the board are doing. They spent big under Pellegrini and are doing it again, even if it's to go to European football before they sell. I'm happy with that. Um, it would be nice if the other Eitrich Frankfurt player came over. Kamada, Kostic is class. Larry, he is. Let's not mention Mr. TikTok again. <laughs> Thunder, they'll have to pay him good money to give up the Champions League. Uh, apparently, apparently, we are still waiting to hear back from Leo on Onana, and I think we're going to go back in there. I really do. I really, really do. Double deal. Kostic, Skamaka, just if you're catching up. This season, top teams uh, are massively strengthened, but we're always going to be in for a shout because we are far uh, more spirit than the pig six. And I agree with that. And I think the thing, Happy, to consider is that we've got this unity within the team. So if you think about Manchester United, there's big, massive changes in the club and that might take time to gel. And what West Ham are doing right now is we have gelled and it's about consistency. Moyes talks about it week in and week out during his press conferences is staying consistent with the club and 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 and, um, and, and what he can offer Um and, and, and how we can progress, and that's key. And if we can strengthen, that can move that consistency up a notch, then I think he'll be really happy with that. And he will look at that. His challenge will be top six, minimum, minimum top six. He won't top four, but you won't say that. You'll say top six and try and push as far as you can in the competition and qualify for Europe for next year. 
as well. I know that's a good one. I might start using that. Uh, Tony Cotty reckons top 10 this season. When the ball hits the net, it's Haller. It's not Haller up yet. It's Gamaka. I must admit, that's been my best one yet. Okay. Uh, sorry, happy. I'm very well, thank you. If we get Samaka, Skamaka and Kostic will be three beast and Prem defenders will be themselves they will. What a threat. What a threat Skamaka will be from uh, corners um, and set pieces. Any news in any left backs? Well, we'll see. Get the, the candle to have a chat with Skamaka. Tell him about the fans. We'll be shouting the song, top of my lungs and losing my voice every game. Can't wait. Let's hope Aguerd recovers quickly. I think... Even though he's had the operation, I think his fitness levels and and and, and all that sort of stuff will bring him back a bit quicker. Um, but I think we probably won't see him probably September, October. Fingers crossed we will as well. Matt is saying bring Broja in and loan options to sign him permanently. Absolutely. Look, they still like Broja and he qualifies as homegrown for Europe. I don't believe Chelsea would sell Broja, but a loan would be a coup since he would spend money on other uh, positions. Would love Ska Ambrosia. Happy Skamaka Day. Dennis for £20 million. Roberto Diaz for 12 would be good. He scores from the left. He scores from the right. When the ball's in the flight, he goes looking for a fight. Skamaka. Skamaka. Love it. Yes, he scores from the left. He scores from the right. When the ball's in the flight, he goes looking for a fight. Skamaka. <laughs> we need someone with pace in midfield take on defenders. Bros alone. West Ham spelling out Skamaka with first letter of tweets. Absolutely. Those Japanese are all energy. They are. Broza, not a chance. Chelsea have no... <laughs> Anyone know uh, what Skamaka's English is like? Apparently, he's actually got pretty good English as well. So that's obviously something that Moyes looks for when he brings a player in from a foreign country is what do you... Do, can you speak English? Can you understand English? Because I think that really helps. I think Fornals came with a understanding of how to speak the language and it really helps with the, the, the team as well. If Chelsea go in for Ronaldo, we maybe bring Broja in. Diaz, I can see coming in, but I prefer Broja. I really can't see um, Diaz, to be honest. Broja, 100%. Apparently good English. Yep, absolutely. Bowen, 25. Skamaka, 23. Red Bull model. Absolutely. Having Antonio and Benny available off the bench would be nice. And we're not even talking about Benny. And we're not even talking about Penny as well. Two up, two down hammers. How much pay for the shirt frames? These bad boys here. Um, oh, God, good question. It was a while ago. What I'll do is if you send me an email on the West Ham Network at gmail.com, I'll look out the receipt online and I'll send you the link to where you get them from. I'll, I'm going to get a few more for other areas of here as well because I, I love them. Russ has got them as well. I absolutely love I've got loads of tops I want to put up. I don't have enough room to put them on the walls because we've got this unit here as well for the fish tanks, of course. <laughs> with Nana. Not yet, not yet. I mean, I'm so far behind the comments. It's a joke. I'm trying to skip. Would you have Bojan loan than not have him at all? Of course, but I'm waiting for Chelsea to say we don't want to sell players to our nearest rivals. <laughs> Uh, let's hope Augie stays fit. Would we'll be like having a new signing. Absolutely. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to bring on our. I don't think I've actually spoken to you in person okay. too often. Okay, guys, you right? Yeah, good to see you, my man. How you doing? You all right? Yeah. You remember me, the Antonio thing? Yeah, we do. Yeah, what quality? Yeah, yeah really good. So, um, you yeah. you won you won it from football prizes, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah, quality. Look at that, and that's the one that actually has a playback of his goals. Of his goals, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what a quality setup that is. What a quality yeah, mate, setup yeah. that is. How you doing anyway? You okay? Yeah, all good. Yeah, I'm just going to say, like, I love your setup and that and Rusty's. That looks really, really good. Really cool. Yeah, cool. Thank you. Yeah, no, cool. It's, it was all, listen, I'm not going to take the the, the the plaudits for it. It was all Russ's idea. Um, yeah, when brilliant. I what, when I seen what he did, I was like, yeah, I really like that. It looks a bit smarter, <laughs> doesn't it? It's nice. Maybe, so, yeah. If, I, I've just said there in the chat, if you send me an email, I'll try and find the link to where we bought them yeah, from. Definitely. And I'll let, I'll let you know where we got them from. But yeah. just while, while, you, while you're on, um, as much as we're bringing in all these players, we've got a lot to thank for the man that's on the, the wall behind you, Antonio. Yeah, yeah. Do you, know, do you know what? I think at the end of the last season that everyone ran out of steam. Yeah. Do you know, yeah. for the uh, the Europa and that, I think it, you're using the same players uh, week in, week out. I think they just didn't have... And, and what done it was Cresswell going off, you know? Yeah, yeah. But anyway, it's a new season, and I'm so excited. Um, Skimaka, do you know what I mean? A striker, I think I heard on Talk Sport, <laughs> it's been over a thousand days we haven't had a striker. Yeah, a thousand days, mate. A thousand days. I think... Um... Matt worked it out that I think it was Ajeti 
was our last kind of striker signing, yeah. official striker signing, or if a Jack you know left the club, yeah. Yeah, how would that affect the rest of the team, though? Because how would it affect Bowen's game, for instance? Well, I don't, I, I think when David personally, you know personally, personally, hmm. when I look at David Moyes' scouting, you know, I, I, I've said this several times when we do these shows. We have to yeah. be very careful as as YouTube people who report information. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. We're not, you know. So I've always stated that I'll look into the players we're linked to and see if they're a Moyes player. Mm -hmm. And and obviously, I don't watch the Serie A all the time. Used to when it was no. on Channel Four years ago. But when yeah. you look into the style of player that Skamaka is, he mm -hmm. does look like he is a dropping deep, working for the team, defending, working yeah, the flanks. He works yeah. the flanks, and I've said yeah, to everyone chat. in the chat. Yeah, I've said to everyone in the okay. chat, go and check yeah, go out, on. go and check out our video with um, that Harry did for us a couple of Saturdays ago, where he really dissects Skamaka's game. He brings up I'll his heat map and shows you yeah, where he is. travels, and he travels everywhere. And that is yeah. a boys player, so I think if he can do that, plus yeah. he can actually shoot at goal. He shoots. Do you know what? It's it's really exciting times, isn't it? It's just and yeah. and, and is that that Kosek, Does that look like it's on? Well, the, what what we're hearing is obviously again. I mean, we're no ITK, but you build up yeah, on the yeah, report. Yeah. So Fabrizio Romano was stating that the club oh. are are having really good talks with um, Frankfurt, and apparently we, we could be into the world of personal terms. So it yeah. could be a case to convince Kostic, do you want to leave Champions League football to come to the right. Premier League and challenge or something? That's going to yeah. be our biggest task. I think we can absolutely satisfy him with those weekly wages. I think uh -huh. we could, if, if they hadn't qualified for the Champions League, I think we could have satisfied him, no problem. But right. I think any player that's potentially going to knock back a season of guaranteed borderline yeah, yeah, couple yeah. of games of um, Champions League is going to be a yeah. tough ask. However, they seem to be confident that this could be the man right. that we're after. And I think he really does yeah. offer us huge um, strength in the team, yeah. definitely. It's exciting times, isn't it, Anton, mate? Like, it really oh, is. Mate. Yeah, it really, really is. It, it, it is, and I, I'm a big fan of waiting to see the player actually holding the shirt up on the West Ham website. Yeah. I feel like today we've all got the notifications on for the West Ham website. Let uh -huh. us know as soon as it signs, <laughs> and we'll come on live when he does. But it yeah. really is. It's, it's, it's exciting when you bring in a new player. It's fine that we have. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think the players want that. I think the players want that as yeah. well. Fresh faces. Well, the thing is, they have been overworked for the last two, three seasons. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And it might be, you know, they might have a little bit more to give. Yeah, yeah. Because they're not worked so hard. But it's, you can't wait for the Man City game. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No, I think it'll. I think it's going to be a... with yeah. Ireland. <laughs> but, but do you know what, though? When it comes to Man City, what excites we... me about that is the bigger they come, the harder they fall. Yeah, and, yes. And, and, we... I, I, and I don't think Moyes fears teams. I really don't think he does no, anymore. No, no. I think he... He's, he's, if, he's, if you he's, notice, like, you know, last season, I think we have Chelsea 3-2, Liverpool 3-2, and we beat City on penalties. We yeah. can step up to the big boys, though, you know? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And so, so I'm not going to let you go anyway, let you get out of someone else on or whatever. Much Listen, all the best. my man. Yeah, yeah, send, me a, send me an email and I'll, I'll, I'll link you to the, the Yeah, I've, the I've had a look at a few on eBay, and they seem to be a bit pricey. I don't know if... Yeah, no, these, are, these definitely aren't pricey. So if you... Um, yeah. West Ham Network at gmail.com and I'll hook you up. I will do, know. yeah. They look, right, yeah. Now, just once again, they look they look brilliant though, honestly. Yeah. And Ruck, no, I appreciate that. Well, yeah. well done, Ruck. Absolutely. Take All easy, the best, mate. guys. Thanks Happy for joining us. Yeah, nice Thank you, mate. Bye-bye. Brilliant to have people on. So um, I'm going to be going soon. So if anyone wants to come on for a minute, you can. Without crazy, we need a dead ball specialist, though. We really don't rate anyone else for them, absolutely. Uh, yesterday, I saw someone with Lingard shirt on, on with our colours. Well, I think people would have had that from the past as well. So, yeah. Skamaka, top goal scorer this season. Could be. Forget Diaz. He's not good enough. Crazy was our best crosser of the ball, but seen Aguero in preseason. He's definitely better. He is phenomenal. He is phenomenal. He picks a pass from nothing happy. Absolutely phenomenal, but he's injured. And um, that Aguero injury is a signal out for three months. Absolutely. Uh, five subs next season, keep them coming. Jason Carter, Lanzini still got it. Uh, Rice will be loving this. Um, we'll know as Moyes is going for it as, uh, if he only has one keeper on the bench. <laughs> Absolutely. Subscribe, like, guys, pushing for 13,000. Absolutely, we are. Please, if you are new around here, hit that subscribe button as well. I think Rice will think, oi, oi, I'm liking this. 
No way Antonio is finished. Uh, can you go to sleep? Not yet. No, you can't. Hopefully not. Um, Crazy's crossing is still class, but teams know he's slow, always targeted. You will miss the biggest signing of the year, Sives. Anyone know where Antonio Ross? Oh, obviously, you've just been on there as well. Um, oh, God, it's jumping. I'm going to have to skip. I really am because I need to go back to work as well. Uh, Kostic apparently takes the penalties in left side corners for his team. Milinkovic, yes, please. My God, have you just come to that point? Uh, but yeah, the rumor is I mean, we're looking at someone um, as well. West Ham Jace. Uh, loving the show and two good signing. Thank you very much, Jace. Um, I want us to sign either of these Kostic, Kamada, Martin Terrier, or Onana. I still think we need to upgrade on Ben Johnson as well. I'm not sure I like Ben Johnson. I really do. Skamaka could be the next highlight. So let's not get too ahead of ourselves. T Tom, we're signing a striker, though. That's what people are excited about. Uh, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight if we have a double signing. Absolutely. Me neither. Um, the big Maka, the new Maka, join the club, hammer it. Would be worse happy. Russy B's in the house. Good man. Razor is saying, Milinkovic, yes, please. One year left contract. Any top quality left back. A must. Creswell must not, not start ever again in complete liability in our defence. Uh, Maka, Maka, attack, attack, attack. <laughs> hammers. We can forget it's the World Cup year, so players play differently before and after. Maka will get a rest round World Cup time. Top four will be harder this year. The last few, the scum bought well and have given us good manager. Who knows what Man United will be like next year. Arsenal done well and behind us, Villa have spent. Um, hope Skamaka doesn't scam us all. Word is that Kostic who came in at the same time as Skamaka. They said that on the stream. Uh, this season is for Peach. We've got this. Yep. Rest in peace, Peachy boy. We've done, uh, just remind you, a fellow YouTuber who's got, who had a channel called West Ham Random, a good friend of everyone. Um, send voice notes daily, 10 minutes, 15 minutes long. Um, lovely, lovely guy. Has really hit us all pretty hard. Um, unfortunately, passed away. Um, so, yeah. It, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'm, just, I, I'm literally sitting here waiting for his comments to come in the chat. Antonio! And it's uh, it's sad. It really is sad. Uh, fans crazy. And Augie as vice captains. Absolutely. When is the hip hop video dance out, Anton? I'll bring that to you. I'll send, send me your email, Jess Peter, and I'll send it to you privately. Um, Anton's doing it again. We tried to stop him, but he's doing it again. <laughs> what am I doing again? What am I doing again? Fresh fielder, good to see you, Sean. I uh, haven't seen you for a while. Hope you're well. Uh, what's going on? When a cut, please, West Ham. Could they sign? Uh, Paul, nobody is bringing him up as much as you. Uh, could they sign this push Antonio out the door? Absolutely not. Can't see Maka go past it. <laughs> there you go, six pound from Hobbycraft. There you go. There you go. Uh, hopefully you've got that. Um, two up, two down hammers. Whoop, whoop, new face. Glad we ain't doing a scatter gun approach with our transfers like Forrest. I'm really going to need to go. Jean-Lucas Skamaka's in the house. I just wish you changed your profile picture, Skamaka. Oh, good man. Are you signing today? Is it is it happening today or tomorrow? Green Street Elite's budgie. Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're well. Um, I'm just about to go, mate. If you came on earlier, I could have had you on. Uh, but I really do need a ah away with away with you, son. Away with you, son. You don't you don't you dare, don't you dare. Skamaka is quick. Um Bo and get more assists with Skamaka on board. Love to see all the regulars and some new names. Absolutely. Skamaka got shot of him as well. Oh my god. Uh, Skamaka will scribe um will thrive with good players in and around them. Um, oh my word, when is Skamaka official? I'm having a Sam Booker or five. God, next time I'm at the supporters club or wherever we are going the next time, you can tell you what, happy, right? You can take me out wherever we go the next time, right? And I'll follow, I'll follow suit. Uh, all right, okay, sorry, pleasure to join you. Thank you very much for joining us, mate. Uh, good to see you. Anyone want Italy, Italian chocolate? Yes, we do. Rest in peace to Peach, absolutely. Um, absolutely absolutely uh yep yeah, it's heartbreaking it really is uh announce it announce it announce it good luck to the england ladies tonight absolutely good luck to them as well uh right i'm gonna go i am gonna go because i do need to go back to work uh can i come with you guys you can mate uh, like i said if you are new around here please hit that cheeky subscribe button of course uh, join me at five o'clock where we'll be bringing you the Hammers headlines. Hopefully, at some point today, we'll be doing a Gianluca Scamacca has signed for West Ham video. Um, so hopefully we'll bring that to you. But stay safe, everyone. Thank you for joining me. And yeah, look after yourselves. Much love and come on, you irons.
Like a family tree, part of you and part of. 